You here to join up? Not a moment too soon from the looks of you. Oh. <laughs> Interested in weights, aerobics, racket sports. Distrucity. Personal tip. Start slow. Thanks. Gold's Gym. Our personal staff is on call to provide you with personal abuse and condescension whenever you need it. What do you know about that woman over there? Claire Burton. Dr. Burton? She's been running 10 miles every other day for years. Real serious. In and out. No chit-chat. Runs the uh, Victorian London course on the treadmill. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure the Victorian London course is a great simulation. Take a run through the breathtaking squalor of the East London slums. Try to outrun malnourished, mangy beggars. Leap across cesspits in the streets overflowing with filth. Dodge speeding wagons filled with carts loaded with the seeping putrid bodies of vagrants killed of typhus. Do you keep records of all your members here? Not really. The uh, terminal on the counter has some information if you're interested. Are you interested? Maybe. Hey, wait a minute, was she coming on to him just now? Wasn't she just a minute ago calling him an out of shape slob? Silver's Gym values your privacy. That's why we put all of your personal information on a public terminal at the front desk that anyone can access. Silver's Gym, cutting the middleman out of stalking. Okay, that's not who we're looking for. Uh, Dougal Zeke. Oh, he's a fudge packer! <laughs> well, he, he is. Ah, Claire Burton, here she is. Oh, and I have her home address. That's awfully convenient. Oh, and she's married to Falcon Eddie. The plot sorta thickens. Kind of. Hey, wait! Can I interest you in a soul-imprisoning gym membership loaded with hidden fees that will plague you from now until the end of time? No? Okay. That thing really does give you the full London experience, doesn't it? You run, Quinlan? Only for a story. Baby, I was born to run. Making me nervous standing there in that coat. You're wearing 40 pounds of dead cow when you smell like a tannery. It just freaks me out is all. Here, I'll stop this treadmill so we can talk. Or did I? Mind freak? Ha 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 Will the treadmill be running when I ask this question? Survey says! So, you used to be married to Eddie. I mean, somehow I can't picture you two together. Took you long enough, Quinlan. Biggest mistake of my life. How long did it take to figure that out? About five minutes. Six months for the lawyers, 15 years to forget. It sounds like the whole Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez marriage. Why are you obstructing Powell's treatment? I'm not. Oh, okay. I know what I'm doing. Eddie may be a genius, but he's crazy. If your girlfriend dies because of him, it'll be my fault. That guy is crazy, Quinlan. The only sensible treatment is for me to go power walking. What's up with you and Magnata? He brings me patients, throws his weight around the hospital until I throw him out. That's our relationship. Well, I hear there's more to it than that. He's a man with a grudge. A grudge against who? Who do you think? Ah, uh, Andy Garcia. No, James Bond from A View to a Kill. Why was Farley fired? Farley was fired? Farley was fired? You didn't know? No. Who fired Farley? I didn't. I like Farley. He was a good pathologist. Well, don't you find it mildly interesting that they'd fire him in the middle of the most celebrated murder investigation the city's ever known? Fire Farley before his findings and four felonies were finished? What fiends! Doesn't make things any easier. What? Is Jake Quinlan gonna have to choke a bitch? Didn't it occur to you that I stormed out of the ICU for a reason? I don't want to talk to you, Quinlan. Yeah, when you've decided to make ripping your career, I mean, upper body strength is important, but you can't undermine the importance of good cardio. All right, so where should I go? This map is so useless. A university! Why am I going to the university? I don't know, but it's new, so might as well check it out. I expect you in my office tomorrow with your work completed, Mr. Wendell. Good day, Mr. Wendell. Look at that phone, it's still got a cord. Stone Age much? Bet she's never even heard of the swirly blue thing. I'm a reporter for the Virtual Herald. You have a few minutes? That's how many I have exactly, a few. What can I do for you? 
Is it really possible to have exactly a few minutes? Isn't the very purpose of the word to be vague and indefinite? Do you remember a student of yours named Claire Burton? The only student I ever encouraged to leave school. Why do you ask? You advised a student to leave school? Frankly, this place had nothing to offer her. It was my feeling that it could have even restricted her development. But I repeat, why do you ask? Well, she's, um... A murderer. She's taking care of a friend of mine. And some of her colleagues think that her treatment is a bit unorthodox. <laughs> I have no doubt it is. She wouldn't look at things the way most surgeons do. It makes her so creative, so innovative. She seems a bit weird about it. Well, she's quirky, all right. I certainly remember that about her. Some very unusual predilections indeed, but that's often a mark of genius. Unless Claire has changed drastically in the years since I've seen her, you have no need for concern. It's so thin the line between genius and madness, much thinner than the one between medicine and jogging. Was a man named Joey Falconetti a student of yours? No, but I remember him well. He was an astonishing cyber surfer, but he was more interested in pretty assistance than in any genuine original thought. Did he have a, um, a greasy mop of hair affiliation with Claire Burton? By affiliation, I assume you mean did she have an affair with him? I couldn't say. She may well have found his air of danger sexually appealing, and she was certainly aggressive intellectually. I'm sure she went after him to challenge his skills. Excuse me, can we tone the soundtrack down? Who knows? The Web Runners may even have been her idea. The what? The Web Runners. It was a gaming club of some sort. It was cutting edge. Claire and Falconetti were among the founding members. In fact, when Nerdy! She seen, Claire seemed to do little else. She virtually disappeared. Does this club still exist? I mean, where can I find them? Oh, they're like children with a secret clubhouse. All I know is that they post notice of their meetings on the bulletin board out in the hallway. They usually encode the information, however, hiding it amongst the flyers and announcements posted there. Something about arranging those flyers in the proper order will form a sentence revealing where and when the runners plan to meet. Wow, that's way more efficient than just emailing everyone. Do you know anything about a policeman named Vince Magnata? Claire used to mention him. Apparently, he had quite a temper. Ah, shazam! Now I'm on the phone! I'm sorry. I've told you everything I know about Claire Burton. You're taking time that belongs to my current students. I know this is supposed to be science fiction at all, but do you really expect us to believe that college kids get together and play video games? I mean, come on, let's not go crazy now. So the location of the Webrunner's loft is hidden somewhere on this board. You guys, this is one of those puzzles. I mean, it, at first glance, it seems really easy, where they just tell you what to do at the beginning to arrange the posters on the board in order to tell you where the Webrunners are meeting. And you're like, okay, fine, simple, right? You know, nine days later, you are still trying to arrange these puzzles, wondering what the fuck you're doing wrong. You know, you're trying brute force approaches, everything, and nothing will work. And I think the biggest, most helpful piece of advice I can give you, not that it helps all that much, is to solve this puzzle, you do not have to use every single flyer. In fact, I think you only have to use five of them. Now, which five, that's a struggle all on its own. But once you have that starting building block that not all of them are necessary and you're not trying to use all of them, trust me, you'll be a lot more sane when you come out of this puzzle. So which posters do you choose? Well, that's an that's area where I got to tell you I got pretty lucky on, I think. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure it's really the right answer. But I went around the posters and I picked out the ones that had uh, numbers in the very last line. Not long numbers, like phone numbers, but... Just simple ones like 4, 50, that sort of thing. And I arranged them that way. I just kind of shuffled them around, and I think eventually I got lucky. Now, they do spell out a sentence, but I could never find out, you know, which line in particular was being indicated. It was just kind of one line in each poster helps to finish out the sentence saying, like, web runners are now meeting in a new loft somewhere in Gramercy all this week, something like that. So I shuffled them around and found them that way. And, by the way, this is another puzzle where... Uh, you really should have a pad and paper. This is one of those games that does require you to take notes and it does not bother to remind you of anything. So if you didn't have a pad and paper, you will be doing a lot of backtracking to find the solutions to your own puzzles. It's kind of merciless that way. Got it. I hope the webrunners don't mind a visitor. That was a terrible shave and a haircut. Now go do it again. Quinlan? I hope you have a story ready to roll. I'll take your awkward shuffling silence as a no. Well, no rush. Our newspaper can wait. Do you have any background on Falconetti and Burton? 
I don't know everybody in this city. <laughs> I thought you did. Hmm. I'm thinking with sand here. CIA's got my brain in a jar. Ben, you ever hear of Gambit Nelson? Yeah. That was another one I gave her. Don't you guys ever share sauces? Oh, they share sauces, all right. Oh! Okay, so back to business. We're going to the Web Runner's Loft, which has now appeared on your map, and remember what I said about writing all that information down? Well, here's where it comes back to bite you. Yep, you got this huge combination lock, and the code is all of those numbers that were on the bottoms of all of the flyers that were used to find this location, and if you didn't write that down, kind of fucked. It may seem unfair now, but once you've started playing this game for a few weeks, you start to anticipate these needs in the future. It's always kind of awkward when you walk in on someone else doing some Wii Fit. I can't even begin to guess what she's doing in whatever game she's playing, but I'll bet you just about anything that it's really, really boring. I, I don't know, virtual hula dancing simulation? <sighs> You know what, game? It's fine. Just, uh, finish your Tai Chi lesson. I'm, it's all good. I'll wait. I'll wait. Hey! Man, what the fuck? Nostalgia chick! Where's the 7th Cavalry? Yeah, I got like this about a week after buying Civ 2. Are you mad? You almost gave me a stroke! I was doing the Custer Sim, and I was the only Korean Indian, and I had Goldilocks by the throat! This won't take too long, honey. I just need to ask you a few questions. Make an appointment with my secretary. I'm going to tell you what I've been going through lately. Hop along. I've been playing tag with a serial killer and ruining my shine by walking through his victim's guts. My girlfriend's in a coma, and the next time the Ripper kills, it could possibly be yours truly. So fuck your cartoons! Actually, they're not called cartoons, they're called anime. Shut up! Fine. Now, let's talk. Okay, first question. Which one are you, Alliance or Horde? A woman named Claire Burton. Used to be a runner, do you know her? Yeah, I know her. I mean, I don't know her. I know who she is or who she was. She was one of the first, a proto-runner. We care about our history, man. You've got to know where you've been to know where you're going. Wow. It's interesting. So, what do you know about her? I just know who she is. I've seen her pictures hanging on the walls in here. You can see them yourself. Yeah, man, we remember our history, like that one time we raided Molten Core, or when Lord British got killed. Do you know anything about a guy named Falconetti? Every runner's heard of the Falcon. He's a legend on heels. Before he was a runner, he fracked with a gang called Era 33. <sighs> Falconetti was a 33. Wow, if only that meant something. Was he part of this TRW thing? Story is, he masterminded it. Core overwrite. Took out the credit record of every adult on the East Coast. Cops never got him. They say he's still out there, waiting to strike again. I bet. Ooh, it's like a scary bedtime story chartered accountants tell their kids. Ever hear of Vince Magnata? Sounds familiar. You'd have to grab the runner's archive well to see if that guy means anything. Hmm. Yeah, and you might have to wiki the word grep to grok what it means. How can I access the runner's archive? Never actually been there myself. It's for senior runners only. I know the address. It's at Anachrony Station. You're on your own with the ice, though. It's a bitch. Okay. Thanks. Very important to check out the photos on the wall here, because the actress seriously mumbled a very vital clue that the, uh, the Webrunner's archive is at Anachrony Station, and she kind of said, it's at Anachrony Station. This picture kind of looks like a Three Stooges photo to me with a nostalgia critic in the middle. Ooh, I'm about to hack Spider-Man's Facebook page. Come on, come on, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies! It's ironic to note that I actually have a website called The Web Runners as well, although mine's way cooler. It's a, uh, it's a fan shrine to Morgan Webb. <laughs> yeah, so this game is really, really lucky that it has cheat codes because, seriously, fuck slider puzzles. I mean, fuck them hard. I hate these fucking things. Welcome, Neo, to the desert of the real. I uh, guess since that big wheel keeps on turning, uh, Proud Mary's gonna keep on burning. And then Sam held aloft the file of Galadriel. The spider Shelob shrank in fear from the light of Ereni. Claire 
Kevin Burton, five-year member, gifted cyberspace traveler. Strengths include graphical user interface development in multi-dimensional hyperplanes and first-person post-arcade shooters. Handle, Churchill, Games Author, Hostage Golf, Slipstream, and Hip Hop Mafia. Left web runners after marriage to Joey Falconetti ended in divorce 15 years ago, and the latter was sentenced to prison. Burton Falconetti marriage ceremony of note, due to disruption by another web runner, Vincent Magnano, who claimed to be in love with Burton. Okay, sure. Does anyone have a reason these two should not be wed? Yeah, I got a reason. This gal. It's unfucking believable. An extraordinary hacker and decker, but one known not to flaunt her cyberspace talent in a pretentious fashion. Handle, Disraeli, Games Author, Alien Mothers, Virtual Twister, and Beach Party Cryonics. Graduate research thesis on the effects of extended decking brought her national acclaim in the cyberspace community. An enthusiastic gamer, she died under very mysterious circumstances. The Josie Dorset case is still unsolved to date. Josie Dorset left behind an ex-husband and a teenage daughter. That's not a woman, that's Edward Cullen. Victor Estevez. That's my dad in the 60s. A highly skilled programmer, decker, and designer. Best known for his controversial past, followed by his personal religious conversion. Handle, Albert. Games author, 15 runaway exploitation. Headhunter, New Testament Interactive Volume 1, Sin Noah and Genesis, The Ultimate God Game. Reputed to be the web runner's programmer extraordinaire, expert in low-level supercomputer programming, author of several controversial underground games that continue to draw a large cult following. Following a personal religious conversion, Estevez became a senior programmer for Revelation Incorporated, where he is designing and writing a new line of religious interactive adventures. But unfortunately, his business went under when he made Left Behind the real-time strategy game. And yes, that actually exists. Joey Falconetti, also known as Falcon Eddie. It's the nostalgia critic from his beat poetry days. An angel, an ace cracker, a master of cyberspace. Handle, Beaverbrook, Games Author, Collateral Damage 2020, Humvee, Logic Bomb, and Dwarf Toss. Left runners 15 years ago when convicted of murder in the first degree. Conviction was overturned two years later when it was discovered that a police officer had falsified evidence leading to the conviction. The police officer suspected but never convicted of mishandling the evidence was Vincent Magnotta, a former web runner. Yeah, he was convicted of murder in comedy when he came up with Melvin, brother of the Joker. hey Stephanie Jordan, five-year member, decker of modest ability. No significant strengths or specialties. Handle, Victoria, Games Author, Trophy Wife, and Streptococcus. Most notable for the company she kept, Jordan engaged in lengthy multiplayer gaming sessions with Falcon Eddie, Magnon, and Burton. Played no role in the deadly events that tore the formidable trio apart. Left the runners due to unknown circumstances. Kinda cute, but that's it. Don't know why I mentioned her, really. Vincent Magnotta. Oh, Quinlan, this is it, man. You gotta print up like 3,000 copies of this and just paper the police station with them. <laughs> Falcon Ed. Handle, Sir Duke. Games author, designer Gene. Hebrew Vice. Copadelphia. And Pistol Party. Betrayed runner's freedom that information shall be free by joining the data fascists at the Soho precinct of the United Police Forces. Explosive romantic triangle with members Claire Burton and Joey Falconetti culminated with Magnata's implicating Falconetti in a murder and the three of them leaving the web runners. Actually, it kind of looks like me. Yeah. Sam Mendler, four-year member, a decker of above-average ability. Strength included interface design and applied gaming theory. Handle, Balfour, games author, wolf native, horror busters, and President Satan. President Satan, the Dick Cheney simulator. Known for his strong game design skills, Mendler followed up his smash hit with a highly controversial President Satan. Suddenly a target for an angry public and a hungry international media, Mendler left the web runners and retired from the gaming community. Years later, he opened a successful dry cleaning business in the Bowery. I liked President Satan 2 better, the one where you kill Al Gore at the end. Renee Stein. Two-year member. Ooh, I got a two-foot member right now. Damn, she's hot. Strength included character development, 
plot tree branching, and artificial personality construction. Handle, Salisbury. Games author, The Heat of Hate City, and Bloodnet 3000. Talented writer, designer, and game scenario builder. Left the web runners to pursue a career as a hypertext novelist. She authored three acclaimed interactive novels before taking a position at Canop as a senior editor. She can edit me anytime she likes, I'll tell you that for free. Yeah. Incoming WAC transmission. Mr. Quinlan, this is Stephanie Jordan. I was a member of the Web Runners with Claire, Eddie, and Magnata. You know what really kills me? The new Android phone? Got the swirling blue thing. God, I'm stupid. You know something about it? I'm in terrible danger. Meet me at the Web Runners lock. Hurry. There's something in cyberspace I want to show you. If I can find it, it will change everything you know about the Ripper. Hurry. Don't worry, I'll be right there. Oh, damn you and your disc swapping game. Don't you know there are lives at stake?